been acting? It'll actually be 10 years in 11 days. And young people out there, find somebody that looks at you the way Jake Gyllenhaal <laughs> is looking at Tom Holland. That is just... <laughs> came out, the trailer got like 135 million views in the first hour. How many views do you think you personally were responsible for? At least 100 million. Yeah, right. At least. <laughs> Peter, are you hiding something? With great power comes great responsibility. Um, the funny story is, is that I've been looking for an apartment nearly for two years, and my mum rang me up. She was like, Tom, I found the most amazing apartment. It's two bedrooms. It's lovely. You'll love it. It's brilliant. I was like, Mum, that sounds amazing. Where is it? You could literally throw a stone from my house to where it is. It's like down the street from where I live. And I was kind of planning to move out here to L.A., but now I'm only just moving five minutes away from my mum. Oh. Um, okay, that's not even the right cinematic universe. Yes, it is. No, it's definitely not. You're wrong. It is. There's been crossovers. There has. Oh. I basically forgot to post the trailer. Uh-huh. To download the trailer from my email, and I couldn't, so I had to fo- FaceTime you. <laughs> And she sent me a video of how to do it. <laughs> so essentially, I'm an old man. And how did you find out you got this role? I basically had been auditioning for about five months. And after my final audition, they said, you'll find out tomorrow. Marvel just posted on their Instagram, go to our website to find out who the new Spider-Man is. And that's it. I just found out online. Yeah, no, he had posted a story. Remember you posted a story like twice? And you're like, how do I delete my story? And I but had what? to, like, send you a... Literally, I had to screen record a video of how you delete a story. <laughs> but why would it give you the option to post it twice? That's my question. <laughs> I, have, I have furniture and, and uh, beds and bedding and dishes and everything. So I got you an early birthday present. Come on over here. And we're going to send everything to you. No way. So- oh, no way. It has been five years or at least five years or what since the, uh, you know, since this... Uh, came back. Oh, this is getting a, this is getting tough. I don't want to answer that question. Um, Jacob, it is. So why, yeah, it is. Yeah. why then are, and I know. Right, Spider-Man Homecoming opens in theaters July 7th. Everyone in the audience. You know, it, 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 why then are you all still in high school is the question. <laughs> why, why are we still in high school? <laughs> I travel the world and I've tried to play golf in every place that I go. That's a good use of your time. I Which like that. really good. I'm still terrible at it. Uh-huh. Um, but one day I will get better. Uh, who was at the funeral? Jacob. This is yeah. how bad it is for me. I was told it was a wedding. <laughs> hey, I bet Sam Jackson didn't feel even a little bit bad about making you feel as though you were less cool than him. He loves it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I showed very up to the wedding. And very somber wedding. Cover your ears. <laughs> and I was like, where's Robert? <laughs> how, was, uh, how was that? He's a great guy. We're fans of his here. It was interesting because... That was hilarious. <laughs> if you keep doing this, we're going to get sued. I have so much money. I'm Batman. No, you're not Batman. And what Marvel do sometimes is they would completely change the lines overnight. So Jake was like, he was like panicking. So I found myself on day one with working with one of my idols. Like, it's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> like, it was interesting. The first film was called Spider-Man Homecoming. And yep. we shot it thousands of miles away from my home. Mm-hmm. And this film's called Spider-Man Far From Home. And I shot it like 20 minutes from my parents' house. <laughs> I know you, Robert Downey Jr., who of course you've worked with in many films, yes. uh, you, uh, you, have, you have his phone number, which is a pretty cool thing. Nip and a bop. I'm just going to pop in the shop. <laughs> I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. <laughs> no, I love it. I think we were in London, and he FaceTimed me at 2 in the morning. Okay. And... Uh, I didn't even check to see who it was. I was like, oh, who is that? And I, like, hung up. So I woke up and I panicked. I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to ghost you. Yeah. This is coming over from another dimension, another universe, right? An yes. alternate Earth or something like that? I'm not giving too much something away. Something like that. Something like that. I don't actually... Have I given away too much already? Well, you've given away more than I know. So I thought my relationship with Downey was over. Yeah, but imagine how stressed out he was being like, oh, my God, I got ghosted by Tom. <laughs> Is that really what it's come to? <laughs> and uh, Jake asked me if I wanted to go to the gym. And I have to be honest, I didn't want to go. So anyway, so we go to the gym, we start working out, you know, we're doing ab exercises and leg exercises. And then he turns to me and he goes, uh, Tom, do you want to uh, hop on the treadmill, warm up? 
I'm like, warm up? I'm roasting, mate. I'm finished. Yeah. And, um, and then we're doing press later that day, and I can't walk. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm sitting there, and a journalist goes, what's wrong with you? And I said, well, I do all of my own stunts. You even read a comic book, Tom? Yeah, Justice Avengers. It's the one. <laughs>